All right. You know what? You know what? You know what? Okay. Okay. I'm getting. I'm getting to the. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm wondering why I'm here. Right? And, yeah. And I'm. I'm wondering why I'm continuing with this meeting. This is Frank Bellarique, Vice President of Swift River Energy Limited, who cut a public meeting short after receiving what he says was hostility from residents. The public meeting was held in Bala on September 21st with the intent to update the public on the new hydro plant construction. Talk about uh, our construction plans, talk about schedules, what we're doing when, what people will see on the site when they drive by or walk by. Uh, we would like to talk about uh, the problems that we've experienced on the site uh, and we'd like to hear from the community what they're experiencing because of us being there. Emotions ran high and quickly minutes after the meeting started as residents voiced a number of issues they had with the project. This organization, SWIFT, has done to put up a blockade around the oldest business in this community, clerk's place. I think it is one of the most vindictive things I've ever seen in all my life, all across the country. But I was, uh, I'll be honest, I'm quite surprised that it was as uh, um, as it was, that there was as much uh, animosity uh, as we witnessed here. And I'd like to poll the rest of the people if they want to continue putting up with the abuse that we're getting right now. Okay. Some residents were not sympathetic to what Bellarique had called abuse. Save the Bala Falls member Mitchell Schneer says Swift River has not shown residents respect or empathy during this multi-year process. The proponent is just not answering. I literally have written them over the last two years 11 detailed, polite, technical, business-like letters and they don't even acknowledge them, they don't respond. And that lack of respect is exactly what we saw tonight is the result of that is that when the project manager gets up and wants us to show respect, well, where has he been for the last 12 years he's been pursuing this, ignoring and infuriating and angering the public, and this is what happens. If you're going to upset the community, you're not going to be able to work with the community, and that's what he saw tonight. Swift River is now reviewing whether or not to continue holding these meetings. Uh, our plan was to hold uh, a meeting once a month with the community to give them a status report and to hear what they're experiencing and what they're feeling about uh, the project. Um, I would still like to continue to do that, but we really have to uh, think long and hard uh, whether it's uh, uh, whether there's any benefit 